I want to add some movie style rolling credits at the end of the sequence over here. I'll use the same titling tool as before, and I'll call this one Credits. I'm going to add the text credits here, but I'll fast forward through this. You need to make sure to put your music credits here, along with any other relevant credit. Don't forget to use the correct attribution details as required by your license. I copied mine directly from the Vimeo Music Store. There we go. The final thing is to actually make these titles roll up the screen. To do that, we use the tool at the top left of the screen here. And we select Roll, and select Start Off Screen because I want it to start down here, and End Off Screen so that it ends off the screen up here and click OK. It adds these grey checkered areas here, and that's all we need to do. The credits appear with a film strip icon over here with the rest of the assets, and we can simply drag them onto our timeline into the appropriate place. Let's have a look. To my filmmaking. They're a bit quick, so I'll stretch them out. We still have plenty of space before we reach our 45 second limit, and I'll just move them a little. That looks better. There's some more tidying up required, but I'll fast forward through those parts for now. I want some music to fade in at the end, but what I decided to do was cut the end of my music track and bring it back to fit with the end of my video. The important thing here is that I double check the specifics of my license for the music on the Vimeo Music Store by using the Learn More link here. The important bit here is that I'm allowed to share and also remix the piece of music, which means I can cut it to fit. So back to Premiere. Don't worry about the technique I've used to achieve this. Let's give it a listen. The new approaches to my film. That sounds great. I've made a few more subtle improvements, but they're not critical. The next thing I'll do is show you how to export the video from Premiere. I go to File, Export, media, and this dialog appears. There's a lot of options here, but my favourite setting is to select the H.264 codec here, and then select a preset appropriate for your platform. My project was all edited in 720p HD, so I'm using a suitable preset for that. Then I'll hit export. Here I've logged into YouTube and I'm going to show a simple upload. I've selected the upload function from the top of the page, and then I can use this button to select my exported video file. You need to know where Premiere put your file, mine's here, and click open. The upload can take a long time, and once it's uploaded it needs to process your file. Shorter files take less time. In the meantime, I can give it a more meaningful title, description, and some relevant tags. It seems that the changes save automatically, but it's always worth checking that. The video is now finished processing, and I can select my privacy settings here, along with other options, such as ensuring that I license the video for Creative Commons use. And I can choose a suitable thumbnail. This one here is good. Let's check it plays OK. Hi, I'm Joe Mills and I'm studying T156 Digital Film School. I work for the Open University. When I'm so that completes this tutorial. Much of what I've covered here are basic techniques and ideas that you might want to keep in mind as you progress through T156. I hope you enjoy the module and don't forget to visit the forums for more advice.